Intricately painted and centuries old, this tanker depicting a Havadra mandala remains one of the finest examples of early Tibetan art and an important icon of 14th century Buddhism. In Tantric Buddhism, mandalas can be created for a variety of reasons, such as sanctification or as visual aids to achieving enlightenment. Meticulously constructed, these spiritual maps represent the cosmological realm of a deity. Completed in circa 1370 to 1380, the work measures 33 by 29 and a half inches and is executed in distemper on cloth. An inscription on the lower right-hand register identifies this tanka as depicting the mandala of the five dakas. The five manifestations of the Buddhist deity, Hevadra, the painting is a top-down, two-dimensional visualization of a vimana, or celestial palace. At center, the blue eight-headed, 16-armed Akshobhya Havadra is shown embracing his consort, Vajra Nairatmiya. Together, they represent the melding of compassion and wisdom that yields awakening. The figures are surrounded by different incarnations of Havadra, each embracing their own corresponding consort. Every manifestation is accompanied by eight dancing goddesses, with the further eight goddesses surrounding the segmented yellow, red, green and white areas. Four gates at the cardinal points are protected by weaponry issuing from the mouths of the Makara, mythological sea dragons, all enclosed in a ring of multicoloured flames. This work is believed to be a part of a set dedicated to the Lama Dampa Sonam Gelsen, depicted at the top center of the composition with two hands in the Vajra embracing gesture. A ruler of the powerful Shakya school of Tibetan Buddhism, he governed Tibet during the Yuan dynasty. The series represents perhaps the greatest of all mandala painting from Tibet in the 14th century, and paintings from the set are now preserved in museum collections worldwide. This masterpiece of early Tibetan art is in excellent condition after nearly seven centuries. An inscription on the reverse extols the virtue of patience. The highest ascetic practice of patience is the excellent path to Nirvana.